Oh hello guys, so today I want to show you how I go around using my Optimus laptop with NVIDIA driver and the Fedora desktop. As you all may know, this is not the best thing to do. Okay, as you can see, this is the information, the software information and the hardware information of my laptop, as you can see. I am using the latest Fedora Linux 40, this is the KD version, with the X11 this time. Also I have Nvidia card in this laptop and this sometimes it's really difficult to use, especially with Fedora. So today I'm gonna try and show you what I go around. Of course, as you can see this is the GNOME desktop. And the workstation, the Fedora workstation made it pretty easy to switch and use the NVIDIA card on demand. I'll show you in a second. For example, if I want to start my Wootris for gaming, let's say, all I need to do is just right click and click the launch using discrete graphics card, which is amazing. That makes it so much easier and so much efficient. And while you are using your integrated, in my case, Intel graphics card, you have more battery life and all that good stuff. But as you can see, sometimes you really need to use the more powerful NVIDIA card. and. This is how you do it in GNOME. The thing is, not all of us want to use GNOME desktop. In this case, I want to use the KD desktop for whatever reason. And today I'm gonna try and show you how you can use similarly to the workstation your NVIDIA card on the KD desktop on Fedora Linux. Okay, and we are back, as you can see, we are on the KDE Plasma desktop, this is still a Fedora 40, so we saw how easy it is to use the NVIDIA card on demand on the workstation or GNOME desktop, how you go and do that on the Plasma one, well, there is not such an easy way, there is not yet, at least I couldn't find it and I've been searching for that for a little bit. How you go and do that? There is so many, <laughs> so much information in the internet, you can try that. I just gonna show you how I go about it. So let's take for example again the Utris. What you do, just right click on the icon and go to the edit applications. Now, here you look for the application tab, go for the advanced options, and now as you can see there is an option here that's called discrete GPU. You can check this box here, run using dedicated graphics card, ok, and just click ok. Okay, once more, and that should do it. So now, every time I would like to start the Wootris, it should start using the NVIDIA card that I, ha that I have dedicated to it. So I know this is not as easy as using the workstation method. I know there might be some other ways to do it. But for me, this is how I do it, this is how I fix it. And you just have to go and do that with all the applications that you know you have been using NVIDIA card for it. The good thing is, you only have to do that once and every single time after when you start. In my case, I give you the example with Wootris, but we can do Steam as well. Again, just right click, go to the edit applications, go to the application, down on the bottom there is advanced options, 
and as you can see here I have already checked that box so every time when I try so every time when I try and start the steam it should start using the Nvidia card which is what I want now this is not the perfect solution I am aware of that this is just how I do it again you just have to do that once and forget about it once you set up all your applications using the Nvidia card you don't have to do that anymore plus this might be a good thing or a bad thing depends how you see it but anyway so please do let me know if you have or if you know easier way to do this please do let me know of course what you think about this video and i'll see you in the next one guys bye